it's just been a complete honor to be here with leaders across the state as we've discussed about how do we get more capacity out of our existing services and programs. And what I mean by that is how do we do more for our customers, give better outcomes, protect the taxpayer dollar, right? Not overburden them and make it a great environment for our employees. We call it the triple win. Everyone should win in this. And our approach is looking at our systems and where do we focus our very scarce time and attention on the things that will get us the biggest results. In our perspective, government can be really busy, filled with strategies, filled with lots of stakeholders' expectations. We can get overwhelmed with the amount of change going on. We can get really frustrated and burned out. Leaders have brought us in to start talking about how do we simplify and calm things down? Of all the things that we could do, what should we do? In our philosophy, most problems we chase are the wrong problems. And most solutions we address or we put out there are tackling the wrong problem. In our model, we look at the simplest things we can do to really get the triple one we've talked about. And if it's in child welfare investigations or in the prison system or in business permitting or transactional environments or building roads, the capacity exists if we know how to uncover it. And usually in government, we're not trained on this, right? We're trained to be subject matter experts, which is so critical in our fields. But just because somebody's a great doctor doesn't mean they're a great hospital administrator. So what we're trying to do is teach people the tools to look at how do we look at our entire system and create these simple strategies in any place, wherever you work, where you can get these big improvements. So in the state of Utah, I run the governor's office of management budget. So I'm over the budget and all the agencies for the state. We set an ambitious target to improve all of our performance by at least 25%. And that's not a cost reduction exercise. That's really looking at how do we provide better quality and meet a growing demand for services with or existing resources. We actually exceeded that goal, 27 over 27 percent across every cabinet agency, from road constructions and adult probation and parole to child welfare investigations, temporary assistance to needy families, and eligibility determinations. And now we're re-baselining and we're setting up new targets because the work of improvement is never over. We call it continuous improvement for a reason. You have to stand on top of your improvement to see the new valley that opens up to you. So it's ongoing, so we're setting up our new baselines. But we've been in really hard systems that you would think it's impossible. We're so busy, we're so burned out, there is no more capacity. But what we found is when we can teach people on what to focus on, there really is a lot of capacity to do, to do more good. Yeah, so from my perspective, this is a state that are, is just, the people I've met are sincerely, genuinely committed to doing what's right. And it's a unique collaboration. We have kind of this feel in Utah too, because we're a small state, you guys are a small state. And the desire to collaborate seems really genuine. So I think that's just such a strong foundation from the work you're doing. So you look at being compliant and meeting the expectations of your Senate bill and really finding a better way to deliver um, services between the counties and the state, uh, it's a huge vision. The real question is, is how do you make the physical changes on the ground to make the vision a reality? I think there's a commitment and a path forward to make that happen. And I think as the team continues to learn more tools and to design a system proactively, um, that there's so much great potential ahead. It does require change. And we all know, and some of those folks on the front line, you're living it. It's like flavor of the day. You've seen a million initiatives come and go. The question is, all changes are not always beneficial. So how do we select those changes as you go through this transformation? that really are going to make a measurable and huge difference for the employees and the taxpayers and the customers. Change is hard. So the first thing is it's incumbent upon management to initiate change that really is the triple win for customers, taxpayers, and it's a measurable difference and um, that we're not just overworking our employees. So it's incumbent upon management to set a path that gives confidence to the workers, that it actually is going to be a measurable impact for the good. So I believe management here is going to make that happen. With that in mind, it's important for employees to do a couple things. One, vocalize, own the issue, right? It's really easy to point fingers and to blame, but to own your issue and to provide constructive feedback, that's really important. Two, I know we always hear this, change is hard, but the reality is the only way to get better is to change. If we want to get an outcome we've never had before, we're going to have to behave and do things differently we've never done before. And as long as the change is a good one, and we believe in it, then we should be very open to embracing that. And um, I, I think that's it. Change is difficult, but let's be open to the, the opportunity cost. So I oversee the budget for the state of Utah. 
and the opportunity cost I see. If we're spending a dollar in one system that's not being used well, that means it's a dollar not being spent in mental health or child welfare. And it's really incumbent upon us to understand if we don't do our best, it is affecting other people. And to own that, and I just, I love the people in government. They work so hard. The impact people make is significant. And sometimes you can't even see it. You're just in your grind every day. But to realize the impact you have, and if you could even get better at that, what that means for the citizens and the people you serve. It's just, you just can't, I can't emphasize that enough.